In this lecture, we'll be covering dynamic components. Dynamic components are something wherein you can make use of different components depending on what kind of input you're providing. For instance, you can see over here that I'm just making use of a component tag. And what I'm trying to do over here is I'm binding with this data attribute called active component. And the special thing is this is attribute that we have associated with the vbind directive. So what it's trying to do is, it's trying to load the active component. So we are saying load which is the active component using the vbind directive. So when I say active component, here you'll see that in our data set we have active component defined as comp A. Now from the component set that we have, component, component A, B and app header, this is the default component that we have associated with the active component. So when this application will run, you will see a default component A coming up. But when I change this from the drop-down to component B, the is directive will ensure that whatever is assigned to this active component, that component gets loaded or rendered. So instead of component A, now this component will show component B. Similarly, if I go ahead and select component, then it will make active component as component over here. And that's what will get rendered using this tag. So basically, we can use the same mount point and dynamically switch between multiple components using the reserved component element and dynamically bind to its is attribute. That's what we are doing over here. So let's run it and see it in action now. Here you can see that the first component is comp A and that's what you see for component A. Now if I go here and select component B, you'll notice that component B is now shown as the active component. Now if I go ahead and choose component, here you see component gets rendered. Now there's one more thing that I would like to introduce here. If you want the rendering to be kept in memory in order to avoid re-rendering what you can do is you can enclose this component tag or element inside this keep alive tag so using this once rendered it will be kept in memory so it will give you some performance boost compared to the earlier version that I demonstrated. So here keep alive will keep the rendered component in memory and when you will switch accordingly it will fetch from the memory and display it to the user. So that becomes a bit faster. Now let's go ahead and check this one out as well. So here we have comp A, comp B and component. So that was pretty much about dynamic components and view.